and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you, my friend, how to make vegan kanafe. I'm half Jordanian and my family from my dad's side is from Amman, Jordan and we get to eat kanafe every single day of our lives. My fondest memory of Jordan has to always be the food. The food was the most decadent, delicious food that I could like just always remember. Like, I remember that so precisely. So when I was seven years old, I was at my grandparents' house in Amman, Jordan, and um, in the mornings we'd wake up for prayer, and then after that we'd go out for breakfast. So my dad would take my sister and I to the corner of my grandpa's house and there was a lot of bakery and a lot of stores and there was a bakery there and I remember it so clearly. It was white tile, white everything. Actually, now that I think about it, everything in Jordan was white. And I remember this guy behind the counter just like making all this kanafe, like really big, huge kanafe. Like it's probably like this, like as big as my head, no. <laughs> as big as my head, no. It's like, huge, like this huge. And they would just like throw it out, like just every minute it would be fresh, and fresh kanafe is the best kanafe. However, if you're vegan like I am, you can have it. So that is why at today, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make kanafe. Let's get started. First, we need some jibne, some kitayef, and orange blossom syrup. Awesome, so here we go. You'll be needing a pan to put over medium heat. And in this pan, you'll be adding in one cup of water. Room temperature is fine, whatever temperature, it's cool. You're gonna be boiling it anyways. One tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. So I squeezed about two small lemons for that. One and one third cup of sugar. And the best part, two tablespoons of orange blossom water. Then you'll have all of that and you'll place it over the medium heat. And you'll let this ingredients come into a boil. And once the sugar has dissolved, reduce the heat and let it cool down. So the syrup has cooled down and you'll be pouring it into a bowl and placing it into the fridge to let it thicken. Now for the fun part, you'll be using a food processor. A high speed blender is alright as well. Um, but anyways, I'm putting in 3 cups of kataif, which is shredded phyllo dough, into the food processor. And I'll be blending this, I mean pulsing it actually, for a minute until it becomes fine meal. And then from there, I'll be emptying out the container into a large bowl. And adding in one cup of panko, which is plain dry breadcrumbs, I'm using the Kikamo brand. In the dough, you'll be adding in one cup of melted vegan butter. I'm using Earth Balance, which is the best butter. It's really buttery and the best for baking. And then I'll mix it all up, letting it all incorporate. And I'll be measuring out one half cup of orange blossom water and adding it into the phyllo dough. Letting it all soak in and then I'll be folding that all together. In a 9 inch spring foam cake pan, throw in the pastry topping. 
definitely, definitely get a pan like this. It will save your life. It's such a lifesaver in baking. Anyways, from there, once you fill it all in, you'll be pressing down the topping as flat as possible to the pan so that you can create a thin layer and it will be easier to fry up when it's baking because the butter is going to fry the dough. Ooh, the vegan cheese. All right, so in a medium pot, you'll be putting in two cups of plant-based milk. I'm using soy milk. I always use soy milk, best, best milk ever. And then from there, you'll be adding in one third cup of farina, which is cream of wheat. This is really easy to find in any market. So hopefully you could find this one just like every other ingredient I'm using in this um, video recipe, I mean. <laughs> Then you'll be stirring this constantly over medium heat and once it has thickened then you will turn off the heat and in the pot you'll be adding in one package of Dea mozzarella style shreds which is basically two cups and this is the best vegan cheese out there for baking and because it stretches and it melts perfectly. I don't know how it will be with other cheeses, so I don't know if I want to try because I know that a lot of other vegan cheeses melt weirdly and don't stretch the way I like it to stretch. So use Daya. Daya is definitely recommended from me. Before placing the cheese on top of the pastry, pat it down to secure it from separating. And then from there, you'll be throwing in the steaming cheese layer on top of the kataya. Spread cheese evenly over the pastry so that I can create this even layer. Shake the pan around so that you will take out all the air bubbles. And the oven should be preheated to 400 Fahrenheit. And then you'll insert the pan into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. I'm using unsalted pistachios and obviously I love breaking things apart so yeah here I am crushing. <laughs> Flip canafe onto a dish and sprinkle as much crushed pistachio as you want onto this golden beauty. Drench this golden baby canafe with as much orange blossom syrup and you will be saying my friend forever. watching this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down and if you have anything to say please leave a comment below and let me know what you think and do not forget to share this video with your friends and family so that you can bring the Jordanian essence into your household oh yeah and don't forget to subscribe thank you